Okay, we're going to create a, a process of making a dodecahedron which has 12 size. Each side is the pentagon. So let's start with a pentagon. Okay, we're going to turn on the planes. Okay, and use a regular mouse or 3D mouse to spin. I will use uh, extrude, click on the top plane. First, create a circle. Why do we uh, need a circle? Well, we need a construction circle. That is what we need. So select it, and a menu pops up. Click on this button to change from geometry to construction. And it appears as a dotted circle. Use line chain here. Let's create a pentagon by using three, I'm sorry, five size, okay, with different lengths. So we're going to constrain them using this equal constraint. Press that and select any edge in any order, and that allows them to be equal. All right, press one by one, and let's uh, give it a depth. I'm gonna, <clears throat> this is way too thick for a depth, so let's change it to something like uh, maybe 10. All right, then we got the first pentagon. And then we're gonna create an assembly. I'm gonna call it half dodecahedron. All right, I'm gonna build half of it and then we'll stack itself to create a full shape. All right, assemble the first one. Click there and chain automatic default. That means it's going to lock up all the degrees of freedom. The status is now fully constrained. Click OK. I want to assemble it again. And we're going to use Alt and Control to rotate it. I want to line up these two edges. Okay, notice I don't use filter because I was able to pinpoint the edges. All right, and then we're going to use vertex. Click this vertex, match with that vertex. That's the second constraint. Now, the third constraint is between the faces. Okay, and we're going to change to an angle between them. The dihedral angle for the decahedral is 116. 0.565 degrees, and that's it. That's how you make the first pair. And the next following um, panels, we'll, uh, uh, we're going to use a different approach. We're going to use these edges to align. Okay, click a symbol. All right, now it's going to remember we're going to click switch over to place manually. Press and hold Control Alt with the middle button, rotate it, drag it to where it should be. You don't have to. You can attach or assemble from a distance, but this gives you a better visualization. All right. Now, sometimes this angle offset change to coincident. That should fix it. Notice that if I move my mouse over the surface, it highlights the surface. If I move to over the edge, it highlights just the edge. And then click it to select it. Okay, chain to, there we go. Okay, if you want to review what you did, click on placement. You can see that pair there and that pair there are now coincident. Okay, let's do the next one quickly here. Click A. All right, click in session, manually, placement. Okay, you can drag it manually if you like. All right, now I go to placement and change them at once if I could. Coincident means it has zero distance. You can also type with zero here, it still works. Okay, all right, so A, let's repeat that. I know I could have automated, but I want to show you the manual work. Manual work is good. All right. Okay. 
There we go. Change it to coincident. Go to placement, change this one to coincident or zero it out. Okay. A again. Now, you're just curious if you want to automate it. Let's see if this works. This was the first pair. Let's click on this one. And it asks for the second pair. Does it work this way? Let's see. Uh, um, let me see here. This, that's that pair and this one. Okay, I don't think it works that well. All right, let's click on place manually and delete this entire set number five by right clicking it and press delete. All right, let's do that manually in here. I'm trying to be consistent here. There we go. That was easy. Okay, and that's one half. So let's create the full half. The decahedron. All right, let's assemble itself of that half assembly. Change to automatic from automatic default. Click OK. Assemble itself. Another half. All right. Let's turn off the data plane that way it's not cluttered. All right. So I'm going to hold down Control Alt, middle button, bring it down, clock a little bit. Again, this gives you a, a better visualization, but you don't have to do this. You can attach it from a distance. Okay. All right. Uh, let's move it here. Okay, I'm going to use edge to edge. Notice that it doesn't let you highlight because there's multiple geometry here. So what I do is that you right click, put your mouse cursor right there on the intended edge and right click until it highlights and left click it once. Okay, and now same thing here. Right click until it highlights with orange color and left click it to select it. So this pair is aligned. So let's do this pair right here. You can do this side or that side, doesn't matter. There we go. And it's, when it's turned to gold from purple, that means fully constrained. Okay, most of the time. And click OK, and that's it. You're done. It was easy. All right. And it's, uh, we want to flatten the thickness from 10 to something smaller. You can go to the model tree of cell, go to the first extrude, click the editor, change that number from double click on it here or you can change it here or here it doesn't matter let's change it here so it's easier now it separates because the gap or the thickness is less now than 10 and what you do is just regenerate it or recalculate it and you have a better shape okay that way it's not too sharp on the outer side if you 3d print it someday all right let's click on section and see through it Okay, I think it's pretty cool. Now you can chop it off. That way you have an organic shape. If you want to 3D print that way. All right, cancel that. Uh, for a better visualization, we can color this half with something um, transparent. All right, and this one with a different color. It's also transparent. Let's try green here. There you go. That's it. Turn off the spin centers. You can see the the indicator at the middle. All right, fair enough. That's it. Have fun. Let's give it a try. Thank you.